All right, well, just let me do the talking. Well, okay? I feel like you gotta at least talk with a southern accent. No, I'm not man. gonna talk in a southern accent. It's bad enough that you wore this stupid disguise. But we're oil men. We would have southern accents. Yeah, but we don't need bolo ties and stupid yeah, hats. Yes, we do. She's oh, gonna pick up. Hello, ma'am. Oh, what a lovely house dress. Yeah, well, you're looking all sorts of good. Ready for oil and not quite sure what to do? Well, stick around, and I'm gonna show you how to make use of all that juicy, juicy black gold. And now, you seem like a sweet, sophisticated, nice, busy young lady, so we're not gonna waste your time today. Nah, we're just a couple old men in from Dallas, and well, <laughs> we're itching like a hound to give you a something you want. Welcome to The Long House, I'm Runestone Gaming, and in today's episode, we're talking about oil power. More specifically, how to set up a nice, super simple, basic setup. Now with this setup, you're going to be making about 2K net power gains, as well as 100 rubber per minute and 100 plastic per minute. This is the part one of a two-part episode. This part deals with getting your power up and going and your plastic and rubber up and going as well, so we can make use of that rubber and plastic, which we will need in the second part of this episode. This part is just getting all that basic stuff going, and in next part, we'll get it fully automated. So stick around, make sure you guys Hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the content, because here we go. What you're gonna first wanna do is you're gonna wanna start with a pretty considerably large area. Click Q, go to production. You're gonna need 10 refineries, so hit the hold down shift and hit left click. You're gonna need 10 refineries for the rubber and plastic. You'll need five more to take care of the heavy residual. Then you're gonna go down to power. You'll get 10 fuel generators plus one, two, three, four. Four more fuel generators. Also, you're gonna need two sinks for this. Gonna to go to awesome sink here and hit double click on the awesome sink. Um, we're gonna need a ton of, we're gonna need a ton of pipeline junction crosses. So make sure we have plenty of copper sheet as well as Mach 1 pipe, Mark 1 pipe for the piping. One more thing that you're also gonna need is an oil extractor. Go ahead and put plus one on that. And that should get you all the buildings that you're going to need for this build. Make sure you find a node, a normal node. And if you find a normal node, go ahead and cover it with concrete and then drop the oil extractor right on top, making sure to angle it in a way where you can turn it down a series of refineries. Go up to the oil extractor, make sure that you put some slugs into it. We're gonna want to get this 300 per minute. That's what we're gonna wanna see there. So let's go ahead and begin now. Uh, it will be going down a row here, being split into two sets of refineries. So we're gonna make our 10 refineries, one on one side and one on the other. So we will go ahead and begin that now. Okay, there's the first one, and the second one will be placed on the opposite side. You're gonna continue this all the way down. Now that your refineries are placed, let's go ahead and drop the junction crosses. Then go ahead and drop your pipes. This will take care of the 300 oil per minute that we will be producing. Alrighty, let's go ahead and set up the machines now. The right side is going to be whatever you want. You can make it plastic or rubber. I'm gonna make mine plastic. So you're gonna to go to all the machines and you're gonna set them to plastic. Let's set the opposite side to rubber. Alrighty, that'll go ahead and take care of that. Now, on the outputs of these machines, they're gonna be coming rubber and plastic. So we'll grab the merger. The merger we will put in the center of the tile here, facing this direction. And we're gonna make sure that we have mergers all going down this way. It is going to go into the sink. So we're gonna make it too high as well. That way we can raise it up above the pipe. Best practices, make sure that we're lifting solids and dripping liquids. Okay, we took care of that. Well, let's lift from the machine. Then get a belt over. These can be Mach 1s. We like time belts here in the longhouse, so we're gonna make this, that's 20, that's 40, that's 60. 
and then we'll have to run the Mach 2. Go ahead and get rid of the mergers that you've created to stack up. We won't need those. Then the pipeline junction crosses in the middle. We can hook those up now as well. takes care of the pipe. Let's go ahead and head into the other side and do the other side. We want to split this into a sink as well as into a chest. You will be getting smart splitters in the MAM. Go ahead and talk to the MAM. It's under Caterium. It's right down here. You have to get AI limiter and then it's right here next to it, smart splitter. You're gonna need smart splitter for this build. So make sure you have that done. So we'll go one more out and we'll get rid of these first two splitters. Grab the industrial storage container. And if you don't have these, you can go ahead and just use the regular ones. Then we will grab this belt and put it directly onto there. And then you're gonna wanna drop a sink. You're gonna go to the edge and you're gonna go back two clicks, one and two. Then you're gonna grab a Mach 2 belt, elevate lift, drop the lift on and drop the belt. That gives us a 90 degree turn. Alrighty, that side's done. We're gonna head back down to the other side again, do the same exact thing on this side. Alrighty, so that's gonna go ahead and complete that. Make sure you send your setter output to elastic and the left output will be to overflow. Great, you're gonna do that on the opposite side as well, except this is, remember, rubber. So center will be rubber and right will be overflow. This is what it should look like. This will take care of the crude oil. Now we have to take care of the heavy. No, me bored. Bored! Rawr! Whoa, whoa, ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, all right, please. Please, it's okay. So we're gonna drop a cross right there, join together both of these. So we're gonna join both of these lines together. Now the heavy will come down this line and the heavy will have to be distributed to some more refineries. It's just gonna be some liquids going into this. So let's just drop the crosses right in front. We will then drop the pipes. Don't forget, set these to residual fuel. That takes care of the heavy and turns it into fuel. Now we're gonna make our 14 fuel generators. So we're gonna take the back of the fuel generator and we're gonna ride it right up against the edge over here, right in the middle. The first placement is there and place it like this. Alrighty, we're gonna run the cross right there and then there also will be another cross, delete the old one and put one more cross in. Now this should go ahead and get all of the fuel delivered down a single line. And need a little bit more room. Okay, all that's left now to do is the power. So we'll start with this one. I like to draw the power right in front of where the refinery is, right in the middle. You can hook these up in kind of any way you want, but that's kind of how I do it. Double check to make sure if your buildings are powered by holding power line over, and if you're getting clicks on the buildings, then some of them aren't powered up. Alrighty, now this is a system that will run with a little bit of tweaking. One more thing we need to add just to make sure that this system maintains itself is a buffer. We need a fluid buffer to dump the excess heavy that we'll be creating. So come over here between where the heavy comes out and goes into the machines and we're gonna drop one buffer in between. This is what you will flush. You will flush this heavy if your plastic and rubber ever stop producing. So there you have it. 
there's your completed build for your starting oil plant. This will be enough plastic. It'll be 100 plastic and 100 rubber per minute, as well as about 2K surplus power, net power gain. Don't forget about the buffer. The buffer is what you're going to do. You're going to come flush this buffer if your plastic and rubber stop. And next time, we'll talk about how to fully automate this system. But this will give you a good start. So don't be afraid, jump right in. Feel free to check out the chapters on the video. It'll kind of break down the little, the little different parts of the video for you. You can go ahead and click back if you really need to check how I've, how I've done any of this. Well, that'll wrap it up for part one of a two-part episode. Stay tuned guys for next episode where we'll go ahead and talk about how to fully automate this system. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the content and please come find me live on Twitch, Tuesday through Fridays, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. MST. I appreciate all the support guys. Thank you so very much for watching the video and I'll go ahead and see you on the next episode right here in the Longhouse. So, can I fill you up or what? Yep, yeah. you best get to stepping because Johnny Laws are coming. Yeah, you might want to start driving because she called the cops on us.